All right, guys, because we've got a car in much nicer shape than uh, some of the other things I've been working on, we're going to start with something that's a little nicer. So, of course, we're going to end up probably with a much nicer finished product. And uh, what I'm going to do is a lot more of what you guys may or may not want to see, which is a lot of butt welding. We're going to put in panels. Uh, because there's not near as much metal work and the value um, in the car will be there so like if I had a early 60s or late 60s um, bug and you're not going to want to put that kind of time as you do into something that's early 50s these are kind of like in the split window category almost a lot of the parts are kind of there so it's worth putting more time into and there isn't that much so you kind of have to weigh out whether you've got a lot of metal work to do like say on the say on the bucket truck on this thing because i had to make the whole bed and all the other pieced up metal work i had to do in the front it really wasn't worth me putting that much time because it was like five or six times the amount of time and money that it took to build it the way i did and it, it, I just wasn't, you know, willing to put five years in on that thing to make it done and driver. It's just people, some people say, well, differ with that. They say, oh, well, it's worth it because it's a bucket truck. There's only a few of them left or whatever. Honestly, it wouldn't be worth the time spent doing that. Am I going to get half a million dollars for it or something like that? You know, if I ever sold it, no, I'm not going to get my money back and I'm not going to get the life and the years I spent doing it back. So, that's kind of the way, really, you should always weigh out your project before you start. There's something I call build equity, and you should always be somewhere where you're not losing. And so I could put a million hours into something that I'm not going to get anything back for. So it wouldn't be very smart to do it that way. On this car, um, I'm not going to put a million hours into it, first of all, because it's in pretty good shape. It looks really bad. You know right now but there really isn't that much metal work to do uh, the heater channels are in pretty good shape uh, the body is pretty solid there's some rust holes in it um, they're so small and things like that that I can probably just cut them out and just butt weld in pieces and do a pretty nice uh, might even get the TIG welder out to make them really nice and smooth that stuff we will see we're gonna do a little bit different type of metalwork and style on this car of course this can change a bit you know as we go time and spending the time on it you know you can kind of figure out how much time you want to spend and then you have to figure out how much time you really actually have to spend on it so that's all things that can change a bit but you always kind of figure out what what i want to do is i've figured out what i kind of want to do and i'm going to start it with a certain level of of uh, detail and I'm going to kind of stick to that and get it to where we have a really nice paint job on it that's what I'm going to try and get on this one where it's a really neat nice nice paint job you know a little bit nicer than what you guys have seen on some of my other cars which is still those are nice but this is going to be stepped up a bit and to do that I've got to have a little bit nicer bodywork underneath so the some of the interior parts um, I'm probably going to keep the original ones. These are original door panels. Um, I'm going to see if I can salvage them and try and at least, if, if I have to, I'll replace the cardboard portion of it and try and stretch it over a new piece of panel and then keep that original upholstery there um, on the front and the back seat and the door panels and the side stuff. So some of these door panels in the rear and around where they have the original vinyl i'm going to try and save it we'll see if we can i'm hoping i can the rear seat as well i'm going to try to save the original vinyl and uh, may end up taking it off and then repatting the seat or whatever to make it right to make it so where i don't have crumbs of that you know mesh stuff falling all over the place all the time uh so that I'm going to try to do because I like to keep some of the originality of the car if I can. And this one, I think I can do it. I'm not sure. 
we'll find out later. It's my intentions in the beginning. Now again, that can change. I don't know if I have the correct horn button for this. I think it's probably not the right one. I was looking. I haven't pulled it out and double checked it, but I'm pretty sure it's not right. Um, so that's a big major issue right there. Um, I do have a lot of this stuff is correct. The turn signal stuff, it's, you know, it's very specific to these years. It's like split windows, okay? This knob and that knob, I'm not sure. Let you guys look at them, see what you think. I don't know if this was an original, like, if you see, it's kind of got a little bit of a different shape to it. I don't know if this was some sort of original accessory kit. I think it was, so, and I think it's wood. So I may sand those down and re refinish them and make that really cool looking, the, like a neural wood set that they put on them. I have a feeling that that's what that is, and I've never seen it before. So, uh, I thought that would be kind of neat. Anybody that knows about that course, make a comment about that. Maybe you can tell me. I don't really know. I'm not really an uh, early oval guy. You know, it's kind of a, you, you almost have to, it's like being a Gia guy or being a Type 3. You almost have to be one of those guys to be able to build one of these cars and know all the correct stuff. I'm not going to get probably all the correct things, but most of them. I'm trying to get as much of it as I can that doesn't get to the ridiculous and hard to find, can't find it ever, you know, category parts. So that's one of the things that I kind of stopped the line right there. But I'm going to try and get as much as I can original on this car as possible. The seats, our front seats are MIA. We don't have any. I do have some early cars, pre, what, 64 and earlier seats i think um the difference from what i understand and i don't really know this is where you get into the mr split window and you know early oval guys a lot of these guys that just do all these cars and know these cars and some of these guys are collectors and they have a ton of them and all whatever um that what i understand the difference is is these are flat track seats if you see these are flat they don't angle down like most of them do they're taller in the front shorter in the back on the later models this is just straight and what i think they did is they had this portion was an oval shape so maybe i could take some original ones and reshape them and make them that way if i had some to match up i could probably do it and just use some later model ones and make them look like the early ones and uh, make them work out because we don't have the original ones as far as I know the seat springs that are on them are the same so the difference is is basically the frame underneath I've seen guys trying to sell them for just a frame for four hundred dollars you know for one seat <laughs> Yeah, I I just don't honestly don't see the value in that. Um, the difference also is there is a different. Um, like I seen, I saw one of the seat brackets. They saved them. Thank goodness. Hopefully, he has both of them in here. I don't know. Like I said, I've really got to check the parts inventory and see what's up. But if you notice, this part is different to where the latch is. So definitely would need some modification to make it work on these old ones and they may be narrower or wider i don't know all the details of it but they probably are very specific to these early cars so got a couple choices to make i could the pans are out on this side you know i could put in the, a set of later seat tracks and i know guys that get all freaked out about that but to me it's like a freaking seat the rest of it looks the same as the rest of the car the only difference is is the track and the shape of this you know little frame and that to me is not a huge deal killer but some people it would be and that's all up to them but I'm gonna try and make the car as original as possible that's what my goal is we do have all the original seat bracket or the uh, bumper bracket stuff and all this stuff here I did find the gas tank 
I did find the original gas tank mounts, which is cool. I definitely want those original. Um, I can always find them in a swap meet or something. I see a lot of fender bolts that are original. It would be really cool to have a lot of bolts that are original. But I'm not that crazy about that stuff that's underneath the car. I just don't think it's it really is amazing. It's great if you have it, but I think it's one of those things that you don't really have to have it to make a really cool car out of it. So we're going to try and save as much original parts as we can. We're going to try and... Like uh, a lot of stuff, I got to find a chrome guy. I almost want to have these re-chromed. I don't know. Maybe I won't. Maybe I'll just clean them up and run them, you know. So I won't get those. The chrome might be a little weaker. Some of this stuff's really shot. And I think these are different size than the other ones. I'm pretty sure they are. Yeah, I'm pretty sure that these are a different shape than the late model. And they got the secure it back, you know, these are not the same. So that'd be near impossible again for me to find new or chrome ones with good chrome on them. So I may either get those re-chromed. I may end up doing them sanded and then silver paint like a standard. I'm not sure on that. It all depends on availability, price, you know, whatever. If I can find a chrome guy. In California, a lot of the chrome guys are gone. Why chemicals? You know, that's just state just just ruined businesses. So, like these window trim pieces are still here. Um, they are a little bit better shaped and uh, a little bit thicker than the replacement ones. So. Even though, yeah, they may not clean up and look as good as the uh, replacement ones. Um, I think I would rather keep them original. So we're going to try and do that stuff. Maybe I'll clean them up. Maybe I'll polish them. Maybe I'll take some uh, oven cleaner, get all the, the super chrome off them, repolish them. I don't really like to do that because it, it's a maintenance item. But I'll see. You know, we'll decide on that later. But I'm definitely going to keep them. I'm going to go original on those if I can. Since I have them. I'm hoping I can get another set. I was going to go over there a little bit here. And see if I can get a set of original riding boards. I might have some that need some welding. And I could butt weld in some pieces on them. Be nice to have original ones on it. Or any of that. Or I'll go with Wolfsburg West. I'm going to go more high end. Some of the other cars you guys have seen I've done. You know, when I do a 65, I do it way different than I'm going to do this car. And I'm not going to spend, you know, for top dollar parts on a 65 that's only worth, you know, 11 grand or 12 grand. You know, it's, you know, you're not going to get your money back. You know, that's just kind of crazy. Some people, if it's your car and you want to keep it forever, that's up to you. But I'm just saying, you know, you got to do things a little bit smarter. That's when, you know. I don't keep everything. I'm, I'm not in the business of flipping them, but I just like to restore cars, and I can't keep them all. So that's the whole thing. Yeah. Definitely going to fix the apron. Not getting another one. No way. That's original. It's going to stay there. Um, I may have to reinforce it, though, because I don't think they had a reinforcement panel on this year on the inside. That is the original deck lid for the car. It's not going anywhere. It's going to get restored and put back on. And yes, these are original fenders. This one is original. Somebody said, oh, that's like the 54. Well, the 54 and the early 55 share a lot of parts. So I believe that that is an original fender for this car. It has the little ribs on it. Look at the side. You see here it has those little ribs. So those are original. For some reason to me, it just feels lighter than it should, but I don't know, maybe there's a lot much metal left, who knows. So again, these are original fenders, original hood, original to the car, nice to have. Um, I'm going to have to do a bunch of metal work to that. That's going to get all butt welded in pieces. So I'm going to do stuff a little bit different than what you guys have seen before. Shape stuff a little bit nicer, make it fit better. Um try and get you know because again the values here in the car 
there's not that much metal work to do so the metal work I can do I can do a little bit nicer and we can get up with a better result you know so we'll end up with a nicer paint job nicer body work more blocking probably do a little more hand work on it than I usually do so we will see when we get to that point it all depends on how straight everything is and how much work it's gonna have time it's gonna take me I always put limits on everything you know because that's really the right way to do it so we're gonna pull the body off the pan do the pan underneath and then do the body some of the body work and put the body back on uh, I'm probably not gonna powder coat the pan kind of an extra expense that I don't think I'll get anything back for you know I'm gonna probably paint it that's what I do I paint stuff so I'll take the body off and decide whether I'm gonna take every nut and bolt apart and do the whole pan and then put it all assemble it all back up I'm probably not gonna do that but I'll probably just leave some of the parts on it clean it paint it protect it make sure it's restored so it doesn't rust again that's my most important thing and then Assemble. I'm probably not going to make it so that you put mirrors underneath and see everything being super original, perfect, brand new. I'm not, I don't usually build cars like that. Uh, I think that's kind of, it's up to you. If you want to do all that stuff, I think it's kind of like, then you end up build, building something that can't be driven. So I want to be able to be, make the car a driver, but not, uh, not just a regular one that I do where, you know, if I get a scratch in it, this one's going to be a little nicer paint job than that. So we're going to step it up. I'm going to try to go. I can do, you guys think I can't do that. I can do it. I've done it. When I was in my 20s, I did a lot of amazing custom paint jobs. Okay, really nice stuff. That I mean, I'm not probably going to do what I did back then. I would take the hood off back then and I would block sand the underside of the hood. And it would be no orange peel. The whole, uh, I'd, I'd do the whole uh wiring area and i'd color sand it buff it and make all that like glass i've done it okay i don't think i'm going to go there on this on far as inside you know jams and all that stuff going crazy like we did back in the old days um, but i'm going to make it you know where the outside is stepped up quite a bit from what you guys have seen before so that's what i'm hoping to do again that could change Depends on my health. Depends on, you know, how I'm doing. You never know. I'm not 20 anymore. So, anyway. So, anyway, that's it for the pre-restoration on this. And hopefully you guys uh, want to watch it. It'll be fun. I'm not going to... It's going to go real fast. This car is going to get done pretty quick when I get to it. All right. I'll talk to you in the next video. Please like, share, and subscribe. Hear your thoughts in the old window. Talk to you then.